This humble wooden sign doesn't quite prepare you for what lies down the road ahead. Today, I'm gonna take you on a tour of Palmetto Bluff, one of the most pristine, exclusive waterfront communities along the southeastern coast. Palmetto Bluff is located between Charleston and Savannah, Georgia. It's a 20,000 acre immaculately planned community combining family living and meticulous conservation, featuring 32 miles of riverfront. Hi, I'm Sue LaFabi with Ballinger Realty, and if you have any questions along the way, please call, text, or email me. Oh, and I, I'm recovering from hand surgery, so, but I'm doing fine, in case you're wondering. Okay, let's go check it out. Once you get through the security gate, you've got a two-mile drive under shady canopy of ancient oak trees draped in Spanish moss to get to the waterfront. Just over this bridge, we're coming into Wilson Village. This is what I would call the hub of the community. It looks more like a movie set. And it's anchored by mixed use, commercial, and civic buildings all facing the village green. Here you'll find the fitness center, cocktail lounge, ice cream shop, Buffalo's restaurant, which is only one of eight in the community, the local post office, and one of my favorites, the Waterside Chapel. I don't think you can find a more romantic wedding venue. And just look at the breathtaking views of the May River just outside the back of the chapel. Everywhere you look, there are huge, majestic oaks that have to be hundreds of years old. And a bit of history. These are the ruins of what was left of the mansion that belonged to Richard T. Wilson, who the village is named after. In 1926, it caught on fire and this is all that remains. Now let's check out some of the homes. As you can see, they all reflect that low country architecture. And I just recently heard the term porching. I think this neighborhood fits it to a T with lots of front porches and rockers to sit back, relax, have some sweet tea or a chilled glass of wine. I'd go for the wine myself. Unlike other developments where most of the homes look the same, Palmetto Bluff doesn't have the appearance of a planned community. There's approximately 5,000 home sites here, but developers provide plenty of opportunity to enjoy the outdoors. I mentioned earlier, that there's a conservancy here. It's dedicated to protect all the natural resources on the property. They even go so far as to have a full-time conservancy director to ensure the land is preserved and protected. So if you're driving around and there's a tree in the middle of the road, it's because they aren't cutting it down. You can move the road, but you're not going to get rid of these trees. Home prices in here start at about one million and go up to several million, offering everything from cozy cottages to large mansions and settings from a new urban neighborhood feel to a highly secluded home site off long winding paths. This is the boat center, fully equipped with kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards. There's also this huge dry boat storage area for boats. You can bring your own boat or join the boat club and rent by the hour. Across from the boat house, there are several outdoor pools, including a hot tub. Oh, and I don't want to forget to mention the main source of transportation is golf carts or bicycles. For all you golfers, Palmetto Bluff also has an incredible Jack Nicholas 18 hole signature course. Here's the clubhouse where you can go pick up your golf cart and at the end of the round, you can enjoy a bite at the May River Grill. It's an excellent casual restaurant in the clubhouse. Now I'm just cruising by the pickleball courts and tennis courts. Stopping here in front of RT Market. This is your one-stop shop for everything from gas, groceries, wine, books, and all sorts of novelties without having to leave Palmetto Bluff. It's also a great place to stop in the morning and grab a fresh cup of coffee and a pastry. Now for all you horse lovers out there, Palmetto Bluff has a world-class equestrian facility. Longfield Stables Equestrian Center is fully equipped with 24 horse main barn, horse paddocks, a dressage arena, and of course, a caretaker's cottage. 
and I love horses so I wouldn't mind living in that cottage myself. Oh, and I didn't want to forget to mention the five-star world-class Montage Hotel. It has 200 rooms, suites, and cottages, and it serves as an upscale venue, especially for weddings. And just a bit of trivia, Justin and Haley Bieber tied the knot here in 2018. Yes, Palmetto Bluff is exclusive, and sure, prices tend to match that. But for many people, Palmetto Bluff is a self-contained paradise, bringing together the best of living throughout high-quality homes, waterfront living, superb service, and plentiful recreational opportunities, all in a natural, pristine environment. If you'd like more information about Palmetto Bluff or would like to see any of these properties, please just call, text, or email me anytime. I am glad to help.